formation of your lips. I've never to, uh, trapped an animal. You know, You've never trapped an animal? No. Unless you consider a domesticated dog trapped. <laughs> I'm clipping those nails, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't tell you're me gonna where you're going to get your a bath. Are, Please! You're going to get a bath. You rolled around in deer Please, shit. Please, no! Oh, God. I showed, I found this video uh, a while ago and I showed it to my coworkers today, but it was uh, this homeless man takes a dump in the street. And then it, so far, it, so it, good. It's security footage, right? So it's his camera's just fixed. Ho- homeless man just shits on the sidewalk, basically, right there, and then gets up and walks away. Just squats, plops, and walks away. Mm-hmm. And then the, there's this these two these two ladies walking a little dog, and the dog doesn't even sniff it or hesitate. Just walks up and boom, flops right into the oh, pile of shit. Disgusting. And they're like, "Dog, get out of there! Come here!" And drag it, and it smears along the sidewalk. Oh, and they're like, "What's going on? What's that?" What are you? Oh no! And you just kind of see like that's man shit. That's man shit. That's that man shit, yeah. bro. You just throw away the dog at that point. You gotta. You what just, else do you, you do? You let go of the leash. Yeah. yeah. You let go. All right. <laughs> you let go of the leash in your hand and in your heart. You got yeah. yourself into yeah. this mess, mm-hmm. motherfucker. That's uh. Sorry. Is it from something? Sabrina. Sabrina Carpenter. Guys, welcome back to Jacob V Weekly. We want to start like we do every week by inviting you to check out Caddyshack of Hamill, Illinois. Caddyshackil.org. You can also find them at jacobv.com. J-A-C-O-B-V-I.com. There you can also find a link to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Jacob V is the only way to support us financially with this show. And in return, you get access to hundreds of posts of exclusive content, video footage, of uh concerts i i do and uh you know there's exclusive instrumental music there's uh exclusive editorials you get the editorials on a free tier all the other content is four dollars a month the executive producer tier is anything above five five or more a month and this show uh today is executive produced by neil wolf and doreen mm. Priestley. uh 9 11 was this week <laughs> well yep uh, did you see the clip of Biden saying, uh, well, tonight we're going to watch the debate, and tomorrow I'm doing 9-11, <laughs> meaning he was going to the memorial, Oh, because that's where he was on 9-11, was at the memorial with Trump and, and uh, Kamala and... Uh, In 2001? No, no, no. What were they doing there? No, no, no. This week, on the anniversary, they were all there, and, yeah. uh, and that was just the morning after the debate, but the day of the debate... Joe Biden said, uh, we're watching the debate, and then tomorrow I'm doing 9-11. Let's talk about the debate and get it out of the way. Yeah, people want to talk about it. Got dogs? 
Apparently. Well, no, they're running out of dogs. Uh, in, they're in eating Ohio. the dogs. Mm-hmm. And the cats. They're eating the cats. They're eat eating the, the cats. Pets. Eat, eat the cat. Oh, have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's the. There's dances. We're do, we were doing the there's dance whole, in the library today. There's a whole. Da- it's nice. It's They're good, eating the dance. dogs. They're eating the, dogs, the cats. And then the eat cats. the cat. Eat, eat the yep. cat. And um, I hope ears. that's not happening. Mm-hmm. Didn't we talk about that last week? Well, that people were eating geese and shit. My favorite thing is that what? Well, people do eat goose. No, but out, weren't we talking about that people are eating? geese and shit from parks where you're not supposed to do that well um you shouldn't probably but also what's stopping you i guess did you watch the debate you can just I, I saw the clips you know i got the cliff notes uh but I, oh, I sat through the whole thing nope you couldn't have paid me to watch the debate why would i, I want to do that um we got a lot of china mm-hmm. millions and billions yeah i just keep seeing more and more shit uh, about it but one I mean, time you know, the west virginia governor uh said something about uh uh something relating to schmish on uh the radio and that i is a clip i originally heard uh, when alex jones was on joe rogan in 2019 so um that's really where trump stopped getting caught up on that specific issue well here's my whole thing is that it just kept proving himself to be an idiot the whole time and then he refused to accept defeat he acted like it was rigged and blah 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 but they kept telling him like hey there's really no nothing to support that anything that you're saying is true and then some really good points were actually made in the debate by Kamala Harris on and, both sides uh, what well, sure why not um but i i just don't really care anymore i think just whoever's younger 2024 is what i'm going for. yeah who's gonna survive i'm sick of watching just old dusty dudes say dumb shit and get away with it. it is in part that they're dudes old dusty it is so folk refreshing to have a a professional uh lady who's not a thousand years old yes. she's not young either she's yeah, but, but she's not she's like our mom's age yeah she's not that old um yeah but in the scope of that office, no, absolutely. I thought she was really strong. I'm not like f- like positive about her all the time, um, but I, I don't know. I felt like the stuff of her that that night that was uh, was points. wasn't perfect. I felt like it made her look more authentic. The Roe v. Wade stuff. I was she I was, was in serving for that. killer face. The faces. Well, the faces were. The faces were. I didn't realize watching it live like how that. long that pause was when she almost called favorites. him a motherfucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> when she oh, almost that said was this hilarious. and this person, former president. Former yeah. president. <laughs> Because that's the thing. You could. I thought maybe she was going to say man, but then she said, no, let's not make it about gender. This let's not make it about race. Let's not make it about age. Let's make it just about this is this guy. It's his yeah. problem. This motherfucker so, right here. But that's the thing. I thought it was going to be this motherfucker. She did that on purpose. She was like this, fill in the blank. This <laughs> child of God. <laughs> this child of God over here got me fucked up, though. And uh, I thought she was going to get shook for a minute, realizing maybe how ugly he can be in person because he was starting to get really nasty with her and she had never met him before. Mm -hmm. Really? Like, and she went out of her way to introduce herself to him at the beginning of the thing. Uh, Him and Biden didn't greet each other at uh, the last debate. Petty. And then she went up to him and said, Kamala Harris, let's have a good debate. And she said, oh, oh, have fun. <laughs> oh. Which is fine. They and have ice cream in the You got to shank him with kindness. And then that night, Taylor Swift endorses yeah. Kamala Harris. Oh, yeah. I, I think Trump it kind is, of read as in reaction to something Trump said about right. women that like Harris. But then Trump just is like, I'm really more of a fan of Mrs. Mahomes. Yeah. That should, cool. oh, I actually prefer Mrs. Mahomes. I'm like, I didn't, like Mrs. Mahomes, I didn't know Mrs. Mahomes. I didn't know. I didn't know Brittany Mahomes made music. Yeah, right. Is she doing music? I don't know. I guess maybe. Uh, he he thinks Taylor Swift fan. is just the girlfriend of a NFL of guy. Travis Kelsey, yeah. Apparently, did you like, see he got a breakup contract find, from her? If I were to pick any partner <coughs> of, a, of an NFL player, well, my daughter's taken, so I like Brittany Mahomes. There you go. Boom. There it is. Wait, go back to the breakup contract. Um, Travis Kelsey got a breakup contract. Like, if they were to break up. The way it has to go. I don't. Can you look this up? Sure. Can you just type in Travis Kelsey breakup contract? Well, after so many albums, what I, I saw that she has some sort of legality. That's the thing. He gets 
a certain amount of money for every album about their breakup. Oh my god! No, awesome. I made that part up. Oh. I was about to say. I made <laughs> just that, that last sounds part. legit. I just it's that that would be a little too if hard. The shoe fits, and this like, could totally you know, be. I think I saw it on TMZ, and which I like is my. It. I love TMZ. I love anything with an acronym. What does TMZ stand for? Uh, don't do it. Television mm-hmm. music Mm-mm. zeitgeist. Oh, if the zeitgeist is the, if that was the thing, I would believe it. Actually, people love that word. Total media zone. Oh, apparently it's entirely false. Okay, there is no bre- update. This just in: there is no breakup contract. Of course, there is. There has to be. There are rules. He ain't out there playing. He likes that royal honey. Who? Mm-hmm. Travis Kelsey. I always see pictures of him getting caught buying royal honey. Do you know royal honey? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. TMZ uh, is TMZ, an acronym yeah. for 30 Mile Zone. Were you looking that up? Uh, yep. 30 ahead. miles from where O.J. Simpson killed his family. No, it's a term used in the film and television industry to refer to a studio zone in Los Angeles, California. The studio zone is 30 miles radius area centered on the intersection of Beverly Boulevard and La Cienega. Cien- Cieniga? I don't know. Cienega Boulevard? I don't know. It's I think it's Spanish. Cienega. Cien Cienega. Cienega. This. Yeah. He's never been, guys. I'm sorry. I yeah, I don't know. I went to LA when I was like 12. You saw Steve Martin in a Miata. Yeah, and it was a little red car. I don't think it was a Miata. It was a it was, fucking Miata. Was older, like, you fucking car. bitch. But it was St- Stephen Martin. Cienega. 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 That's what I said. Th- that's what I said. No, it's not. Cienega. Can you we can we break down how that that's probably a problematic combination of syllables for us to keep saying? Uh, it's Colombian. It's Colombian, but origin. it doesn't. I mean, if you, you know, can we not keep saying it? Yeah, I could stop. I don't. Let's know. talk about Baltimore. What about it? I've been there. Have you not been to Baltimore? What happened to you in Baltimore? Oh, we went on a little trip there, uh, and we just kind of had a fun time. It's very much like an East Coast St. Louis, in my opinion. Really good food and drink scene. Gunshots is what you mean. There were some gunshots. There were some cardboard and some yeah, gunshots. Sure, of course there were. But um, at the same time, there was some who, really cool. Why did aliens. you go? I don't really remember. We were going on a little trip. It was around one of my birthdays. We saw Last Podcast on the Left Live, uh, which is. Oh, oh you did that there. Time. I remember. We did that. But also, it was like we got to just kind of experience a new city together, and it was nice. And I've really never been to the East Coast much. So, you know, Baltimore's not my first choice, but no. it, was, it was cool. I was just meaning let's talk about a place we can pronounce Baltimore. Maryland. That's a, that's a Prince song that's really good. Prince had Fantastic. a song called Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Um, Have you been to the East Coast? No, I don't. Other than Florida, no, that hardly. Count. That's the South Coast, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been. Southern I've been to the Eastern Coast of Florida. Mm. 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 Uh, I'm not a big coast guy. You know what I tell people? We got two of them right here, both sides of the Mississippi. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so stupid you got an east and a west coast right here oh i like it and um and that's how i feel and i work it pretty hard i i do those bridges a lot i'm always crossing bridges i hate crossing over to build bridges in my community well because my partner my my fiance my bride to be her family is in illinois so every time we go see them we got to go across them bridges and it's just there's nothing fun immediately on the other side of the bridge. no i that's the thing is i'm typically when i'm going i'm being hired to bring fun there that's fair mm. yeah that's I mean, i'm typically going for a wedding uh, or a concert or a, just an go, event of some kind i usually just go to get drunk on a boat or something see when you quit drinking you mm. really don't end up in places you don't want to be Mm, that's probably the biggest because you're plus. like you know what i'm not trying to chase this dragon and have fun i'm that, gonna go home because i'm gonna liver, feel the same way liver health i wanted to break down kind of the regiment joe is saying he's gonna try um uh some of my regiment and i was so i wanted to recommend this to you what you do is you wake up at your normal time 15 diet cokes this is part of it you wake up at your normal time and, and an you, ounce of weed you immediately begin ice and diet coke and i have to do the ice because if i just do the diet coke i get dehydrated do you know what i do every morning and then let me can we do you next yeah we'll do me next so it's not weird okay and it's really the same whether i wake up at seven o'clock or ten o'clock uh in the morning i'm typically writing just the cannabis and the diet coke constantly throughout that time 
until I get to the point where I can't take it anymore and I have to eat something. And at like a three, four, five o'clock hour, depending on the day, is when I'll finally eat something. You don't eat food in the morning? No, hardly ever. You don't eat lunch? Um, if I haven't eaten breakfast, sometimes I'll eat lunch. But that's like a, a, typically on a working day. But on a day where I'm not like working, I won't typically eat lunch. I'll eat dinner early or lunch late, and that'll be the only thing I eat. My work burns a, a good a fair amount of calories. I know, but you're so eating poison every day for $3 base. at Quick Trip. That's, it's no. Also, they took that deal away. The week after I brought they it up. Took away your, your they took away your... We should bring it back the for the pot. And I'm very upset that it's gone. The Baby Brother Signature now, QT Bundle. Now that QT Bundle is uh, $8. That's it's how they get you. These fucking people. Fucking upsetting. This is what happened with the Blue Bell ice cream. Or is it Baby Bell? Blue Bunny? Blue Bell is the one that came from Texas. Blue Bell. It was on sale when they first brought it to Schnooks for like $5 for half a gallon. Mm -hmm. And now it's like $9, like Uh, everything else. uh, Inflation, yeah. Uh It's not inflation. Uh It's an introductory Uh price to get you hooked on it. And then Mm -hmm. you come back and say, well, I have to have it. Do you know what I do first thing in the morning? First thing. Yes. I, I get out of bed. I go and I sit on the toilet and I chug a liter of water. A liter? Uh, on the toilet. On the toilet. Why on the toilet? Andrew Tate does this, too. Because sometimes... Oh, yeah. So, no, I sorry. A power lifter was saying this in an interview. There's that you drink a liter of water first thing in the morning, and it it, it, it wakes up your organs rapidly. Mm. And so it just kind of gets your body working. And so sometimes it wakes up your organs so rapidly that you got to do something immediately. Mm. So I chug a liter of water on the toilet. And then if nothing happens after like <laughs> five or six minutes of TikToks, <laughs> then I continue my day. And then usually it kicks in right around the time I get my, my toxic energy breakfast. The water does? Yeah, I get, I get the water. Did you know the, the dye in Doritos can make mice transparent? I heard that. Did you know you I can pick up that. a frog with a magnet? Why? Frogs have such an iron-rich diet. Iron. Iron. I knew it. Iron-rich diet. Iron. 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 Frogs have such an iron-rich diet that you could pick them up with a powerful magnet. In some cases, they've been some some cases they've been known to levitate. But no, they had this thing on uh, that I saw online. It was called a frog stick, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" It's just a magnet on the end of a stick, but you can literally just poke it at a frog. Don't like stab the frog, but poke the frog with a, the magnet, and then pick it up. And they have so much iron in their body from their diet. Does that make them mad? Probably. Did they get Can you a- imagine if you were just chilling on a rock, enjoying the temperatures around you, and then you were just kind of like, something touched your back, and then you just went, whoop, and then you were up in the air? I'd be upset. What if all the iron, iron minerals in their body the iron? was pushing back against their body, and it was extremely painful where, like, their skin's being like pulled off. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Whenever it's you like, hey, we have this stick like, that only grabs onto your intestines. Yeah, exactly. So you're yeah. getting picked up yeah. by your guts. Because yeah. I was worried about that like in um, in X-Men, Magneto shreds that guy apart because they pumped him full of iron mm-hmm. enough that Magneto yeah. could pull the iron out of yeah, the guy. And that's sure. how he escapes from the plastic. He just kind of pulled it out of his body, though. It was kind of like... Yeah. Um, I bet that hurt a lot. Have you seen The Deliverance on Netflix yet? I don't have Netflix. We keep talking about this. Oh, I watched it. Lee Daniels needs his own line of wigs. Have you seen Glenn, Glenn Close's wigs I've seen wigs the in pictures, this? yes. Who's Lee Daniels? Lee Daniels directed The Deliverance. And, um, the just look up. Deliverance. Yeah. The, just Glenn Close's whole look in this is so perfect for the role, but the wigs are like crazy good. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at some hairs. The wi- le- at some specifically hairs. Glenn Close's wigs. The other women have lovely wigs oh, too. Oh, that's on. great! Come on, brother. That oh, that we've met one of those in Lime. Oh yeah, we Lime. know her. She's the bartender at the Rendezvous. That's right. Looks just like her. I can't wait to go see her again now and just be like, "Hey, listen, I've been told you look like Glenn Close, but today." <sighs> but my thing is, I I think. I don't know what they did to Glenn's lips. I don't know. Uh, last thing I saw her in was actually a like pilot that ended up, the, the show got canceled like three episodes in. But it was a, a show about these grandchildren that are really just kind of entitled and shitty. And then their grandmother, who's supposed to be taking care of them, dies and comes back as a zombie, but a zombie that I like is conscious. And it was like, I'm just going to take it out on you greedy little fuckers. That's how she talks in it. 
Well, that sounds nice. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was called, but it was it was a, it was Zombie Glenn Close. So imagine what that looks like. Really? Talking. Mm. It was a show. Mm-hmm. Uh, with, with Glenn Close. With Glenn Close. Yep. Multiple studies have found that 95% of baby food sold in stores has trace levels of heavy metals. This is adjacent to our boar's head story from last time you were here, but uh, we didn't get to it. Well, they got to use filler, you know, and they one gotta, of the best fillers is It's crazy. Mercury. Mercury what have we done filler. to the economics of food that apples and pears are more expensive than lead and mercury? I actually don't know if it was mercury. I was just saying. Whatever. That. Oh, I found the name of that show with Glenn Close. What's it called? Sea Oak. What's it on? Uh, I don't see it on. There's three anything. episodes of a show called Sea Oak. I don't see it. How on am anything. I going to find that? It got a 7.0 out of 10 on IMDb. That sounds low. Oh, it's an Amazon original. That's oh, that's why it's that's a C minus. Maybe it continued. I don't know what happened, but it says lonesome woman comes back from the dead to live a life she was too afraid to live. Period. That's it. Well, that's kind of nice. Like, yeah. now she's a zombie, she just, so she can be fearless and she can beat her children. Yep, grandchildren. Did you know that American and European eels are all born in the same place? The Sargosa Sea? Oh, Sargasso Sea, which is located within the Bermuda Triangle. So all the eels are from the Bermuda Triangle? Scientists use satellite tagging to track the migration of eels and discover that they travel thousands of miles across the Atlantic Ocean to spawn in the Sargasso Sea. Does that involve uh, morays? What about electric eels? How's that work? Well, all American and European eels are born in the same place. What about the other ones? I don't know. Hmm. Do you think they like to travel? Well, obviously. Do you think they like to expand their horizons every once in but a while? But why? Why would they have to all go to the same place? Hmm. Hmm. Did you know that? And uh, where are Australian eels born? Probably around Australia. But then how come... How come all the European and American eels have to go to the same spot? Those eels come all the way from Europe to make babies in the Bermuda Triangle, which is closer to here. That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, There's a lot of weird stuff going on in the ocean. Did you know that there's some whales that need another whale to hold them up while they have sex with another whale? That's that is that's, that's what that's the alley oop. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's what community looks like. I'm just saying, like, is everybody like, hey, listen, I'm too heavy to impregnate this. this listen here, whale. can you help me out? Can you just kind of give can me you a hold lift? me up? That's a Mormon thing too. Oh you yeah, into that. it's like, like a, the, oh, when God, you're soaking, soaking, soaking plus uh-huh. your friend underneath the bunk bed pushing it up with his feet because mm-hmm. you're not allowed to thrust you're not allowed to thrust so, yeah, but your friend can gets thrust under you under the bed and just kind of pushes up that's and that like the thing the that Ari yeah. Shafir talks about where like Hasidic Jewish people when on days where they're not allowed to do certain things they can still ask somebody to do it for them mm-hmm. like they can't drive a car but they can send you to go to the store for them yeah isn't that funny that's in the in that community that's called a goway a goy? A goy is like your Gentile G-O- handyman. Who can, G-O-Y-E? <laughs> if you have like a Gentile handyman who, it's the Sabbath, so you can't turn the lights on or drive a car, you could send your Gentile handyman to the store. Are you sure they weren't just saying guy? No. It's, like, oh, I got, a, I got a goy for that. And they're like, I goy? got a goy for I that. I got a goy for that. <laughs> That's my goy over there. That's my goy yeah. over there. <laughs> I don't know. You're right. I've only heard this spoken. I've ever heard it written down. That's my goy. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. See, yeah. that's see you are so brilliant. Oh, thank you. I just love looking in your beautiful honey brown eyes. I've been told they're hazel. Well, that's what that is. Is it? Yeah. Honey brown? Yeah. Honey Brown sounds like a weird cereal that's cheaper than the other. Honey cereals. Brown is cheap. If you see a cereal called Honey yeah, Brown, you're on the struggle bus. It's in a bag. You I was know about what to I mean? say it comes in a bag. Yeah. It's just hey, the bag. Can you throw me that bag of Honey Brown? Can I get a bag of Honey Brown to go? Yeah, and the two percent milk. Thank you. No, no. I'm. Are you still doing dairy milk? I don't drink milk. Danielle does. Jesus. I like I got her. I got her knocked down from a uh, from a whole to one percent though. Over the last five years. I think whole's probably better. She would get whole milk and drink that hungover when we first started dating. I I, was like, oh. No. I think whole's probably better. Whole milk. I do like whole milk. It's thick. If you're going to buy I can't drink it. If you're going to go out of your way, I mean, yeah, I think whole's the way to go. I don't skim in 2%. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's do it or don't to me. Yeah, but whole milk is just. How about heavy whipping cream? I haven't tried it, but I've wanted to. Uh, uh, we kept we keep some for soups and coffee. 
It's good for pasta sauces. It's also, yeah, it's sauce. really good in coffee. That's mm. the only time I ever accidentally interact with dairy milk is in like an iced coffee. Oh, it's called beef milk now. They call it beef milk? It's called beef milk Oh, now. interesting. Mm-hmm. Ew, I'm not saying that. That sounds like they made milk out of beef. <laughs> yeah. It does. It comes from beef, yeah. It comes from, that's not, that's not what beef they milk. mean. If I make oat milk, that means I'm synthesizing a milk-like product of, from oats. Of, of the beef and for the beef. If I call it their children. The if I call milk. it beef milk, that sounds like I'm taking ground chuck and turning it into a milk product. I'd, milk steak. I'd fuck with it. Have you guys ever had raw milk by chance? At uh, Kirk's, right? Yeah, we've totally had that before. Just like untreated, yeah, fresh, straight, straight from the, the teat. Straight yeah. from the teat. Because they pasteurize. Because uh-huh. uh-huh. here's the they thing, do live in a pasture. Let's say, let's say for a second that scientifically speaking, there are net benefits to drinking beef milk, right? Let's say that, right? Let's assume that for what I'm about to say. Mm. If that's the case, it's got to be better fresh. I mean, yeah, for yeah. sure. Because like kombucha that you get from like a place that's making it live and whatnot is definitely more beneficial than something that's bottled in a store i think the thing is the pasteurization and that also i I heard that cows can get tuberculosis and can pass it through milk so that pasteurization is very important to keep all of the bad stuff out Mm -hmm. that's why the raw stuff is like illegal like my parents would buy it from you some people what? in Sedalia, Missouri. You have to go get it from a dealer. That but guy why? from uh, Holden Caulfield had tuberculosis. Who's Holden Caulfield? From the Catcher in the Rye. Ah, he was apparently writing that from the sanitarium. Ah, it's a great place to get tuberculosis. The sanitarium. That's also, it's funny because that's where they put you. But I'll say raw right? milk is the best in like a cocoa puff. Oh. Or a cocoa rice crispy, because then it gets a, nice and chocolatey, and it's kind of like a little milkshake. I heard a rumor once on like a morning talk show. Can that, I talk about that? Hold yeah. on. I heard a rumor once on a morning talk show that there was a grocery store in Dupo, Illinois, <gasps> that would sell already cereal flavored milks. Interesting. Almost like a, there was a there was a factory that would just soak the cereals in the milks and then extract the milks. Yeah. Yeah. And then sell that package ready to drink because people just loved breakfast cereal. This is not proven. This is just what I heard on a talk show once. Hmm. Well, I've seen it. Um, I've seen that at like brunches. Also, if you've been to Dupo, Illinois, it's hard to believe they actually have a grocery it's store. It's one of the last places where you can make money playing poker. Really, it is Dupo, Illinois. Good if to, you really want to, if you really want to jump ahead in your poker budget, you got to get into the poker tournaments in Dupo, I especially if it's cash recently. only. Woo, girl! I did some work there recently, and I don't really care to go <laughs> back. I forgot how weird it is over there. Yeah, it's crazy, but that's, I mean, it's a real anything goes. In, in the Dupo. In the Dupo. <laughs> in the Dupo. Anything goes. In the, the Dupo. Um, you can get raw milk and play some cash only poker, brother. Well, so okay, we were talking about raw milk, and I'm sorry I cut off because you said you said cocoa puffs, and I immediately thought about you, cereal sure. milk. You know what I do with yeah. that is um, I get the dark chocolate oat beverage, mm-hmm. and that's what I put on any kind of cereal. Really, cinnamon toast crunch, Captain with Crunch, chocolate milk, chocolate oat beverage. Mm, I've done that. Mm. I put chocolate milk. It's on cereal not. Before. It's not too much chocolate. But it's listen, not. here's the thing: is you're not okay with like two percent milk, but you're okay with something called oat beverage. That's like orange drink. You don't even really know what it is. It's oats. You're not supposed to call it milk because it's not milk. Two percent's not milk. No, no, no. I'm saying oat beverage. It's oh. oat milk. I'm talking about it's dark oat, chocolate oat milk, but oat it's milk. zero parts milk. It's just, it's, it's, it's a grain milk. It's fine. It it's not a it's, milk. It's a beverage. Have you ever made oat milk? No, I'm not doing that either. I have. You really just soak a bunch of oats in water and then you, uh, you know, squeeze it out. Yeah, I just buy it. With like cheese. Cloth. I like to buy it in a box. I don't like oat milk specifically because I've never had a beverage give me cotton mouth before. And then I had <laughs> oat milk and I was like, why is my mouth dry? <laughs> that's, that's it's like a a, it's got like a negative yeah. moisture quality like, where mm, my thirst is it's quenched, but it has moisture like, out of your mouth sucks with it. the moisture out of your tongue yeah. for some reason as it's going down yeah but i really only even consume that in an iced coffee or on cereal yeah 
and I really love cereal when it's hot. I can't hot. keep cereal around, man. I clean man, it I up. Really can't. No, here's I the thing. Did, it's in the background out. all day. Yeah, yeah, I'll eat a pound of cinnamon toast crunch oh, a night if exactly. I have it. Yeah. Literally so sixteen ounces. I did ounces. find out that uh, Costco, and I don't want to plug Costco every fucking time I'm on this thing. But listen, can we talk uh, about that's like the biggest on. clip we've ever had? Was uh, one is you Costco talking was, shit about how Costco doesn't clean their beef needles? views. But listen, Costco sometimes sells double boxes of that keto cereal Magic Spoon. That is actually pretty damn good. It's tasty, but I don't I don't like the mouth feel. Why? It's got it leaves like a styrofoamy kind of afterbirth. There's in my another teeth. there's another keto cereal here I've had that's like chewing on packing peanuts. Mm. But that's I don't I don't feel. think that Magic Spoon's really that bad. I'll try it again. They have Magic I'm Spoon just at Costco. Saying that if it's if the box says keto friendly, I might just eat two boxes of it and not care. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. It's it's less guilty i've only really gone back to normal cereals like you would give children mm. since i've kind of like lost some weight and i'm not eating anything else mm. and like if it's i keep it around for like oh i haven't eaten real food since lunch you realize I, that not eating is is bad for your metabolism hey guys guys i used to weigh 370 pounds you look can, great can we eat a bag of dicks <laughs> Fuck my my metabolism. I, think a bag of dicks I haven't had a metabolism friendly. since seventh grade. Intermittent fasting is great too. I have heard that that's great. Also, yeah. recently, uh, Dave Batista just lost like ninety pounds doing. Mm. I'm afraid fasting. to ask who that is. He's a wrestler turned actor. I was that, worried you were going to say something like uh, that. No, no, you you would know him if you saw him. He was um um Galaxy of the Gar- yeah, Guardians of the Drax. Galaxy. He was Drax. Drax. Oh yeah, yeah. Guardians. I and mean, he's been on a lot of stuff. But when he did that uh, M Night Shyamalan movie, the Knock at the Door or whatever, uh, Knock at the Cabin Door or whatever. He, he said he weighed 315 pounds and it was the biggest he ever was and he hated how he felt and so he's like I don't have to be this guy all the time anymore and he lost like 90 pounds over the last year or two and he looks weird he looks a little weird because no one's ever seen him that small but he says he's really happy and I'm happy for him and yeah, I'm happy it's for just, you Jake it's physically so exhausting I um uh but a huge I mean the the big kickstart to all of that though is when I I quit drinking and I've probably lost close to like 30 pounds of just scar tissue being shed from my internal mm-hmm. organs from what I've read. His liver was like this. Probably. Damn. Hey, did you hear about that guy who got his liver taken out instead of his spleen? Uh, like by mistake? Uh, by mistake. Mother. The doctor fucking thought it was a huge spleen and it was the dude's liver. And of course he died. The spleen's on the wrong. That's on the other side of the body. Literally. Like they're in different quadrants. Literally. Where? Where was this? Um, oh, I'll look it up. The quadrants, Please. the livers. No, the I meant where in the world was this? Oh, because like if you tell me like this is like uh, I'm afraid to guess actually. This was an American doctor. Yes, see um, Miramar, Florida. Oh well, well okay, it's a Florida it's doctor. Florida, yeah. <laughs> if it was up to Florida, <laughs> um, yeah. I mean I know a doctor in Florida that does balloon animals full time. Full time. <laughs> Full time. Because he just like, he prefers the weather. Yeah. And also, I don't think that they actually have an MD or a doctorate. I think they just call themselves doctor. No, yeah. He has a PhD in film studies from the University of Southern California, and he's out on the lam. And he went all the way across the country to the other one, huh? They're not going to extradite him from Florida to California. You know, DeSantis would love a hill to die on. Mm. <laughs> DeSantis would love to fight somebody. To, if DeSantis could, who's the governor of California? Uh, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I have no, no idea. I meant recently. This no. is the this doctor's second wrong site surgery in two years. Woof! It's really hard to get doctors in trouble. How old's this dude? Um, the guy who died was seventy. Now, how old's the doctor? Uh, I'm not sure. Because if it's an old doctor, then I'm like, okay, well, hey, listen, they're slipping. Well, also, but if it's a, a young doctor, we need to reassign him to like a research category where he's not cutting people. Exactly. Well, we all know the education system's going down the toilet. But the, here's the other thing. If it is, uh, I bet, what's the doctor's name? Um, actually, I haven't found that yet. One sec. Dr. Proctor. I don't know. That'd be a fun name. Fun name for a doctor. There's somebody here, Proctor spelled like doctor is their thing. Uh, Proctor Associates. I think they're like hands and feet. Or Dr. Something. Shaknovsky. Where, mm. Where's he from? Um, His first name is Shaq. 
Uh, no, oh, it's uh, Dr. Thomas Shechnovsky. Shechnovsky. S H A K N O V S K Y. See, no, I don't want a Thomas. I don't want to. If you're going to cut me open. Probably born here. Probably second generation, I'm guessing. If you're going to cut me open, I need. Let's, let's give me some names of a doctor that you'd be comfortable with cutting you open. He says, Hi, I'm Dr. What? First name? Uh, uh, Scarborough. Benedict. I think I like I like a, <laughs> I couldn't think of another one. I like a I like a Dinesh. Dinesh or a Patel. Patel. Or the, uh, a uh, That's a last name. The dude that put my arm back together uh was uh had a thick German accent. No, I don't want a German. Yeah. I don't even really want a Caucasian. Can I be dead ass? Mm-hmm. If you're from this hemisphere, I'm not really into you cutting me open. I I prefer actually um huh. A Denise or a, what's another one? A Joyce. Um, That's their last name? Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer. Brandy. Jennifer's a great one. Uh, Kelly. Yeah, There's we some could good do Kellys. Yeah, I would let a women, oh, oh, I would let a women, <laughs> I'd let a women cut me open. Um, cause, uh, cause she's going to be more upset about it than me if she messes mm-hmm. up. And so that I can get with. Yeah. If it's a, ma- I don't want a white man cutting me open. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. fair. And not because, just because of the state of the world right now, he's, you know, he's got to feel like he's going through something. Yeah. And so he may accidentally take my liver out thinking it's the world's largest spleen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> can we let the so Polish Dr. doctor, Thomas. can we move the Polish American doctor, can we move him over to research at a university? Also, the liver is like solid while the spleen is supposed to be hollow and able to fill with like blood. Well, that he thought it was weird. That's, he said he thought it was weird well, that a, that liver was that spleen this, looked this, like a liver. This that's spleen crazy. is so hard. His liver and big. His spleen was so liver like. I, I cut it out of him. What is this? Can spleen you imagine? Smell like, like th- this is the second time. Oh, no, and was so, it like, the same his mistake? Superior is probably like, well, God damn it, Doctor Thomas. God damn it, Brian. What if the first, one, if oh, the first one was like an amputation of like a diabetic toe, but they took it off the wrong foot? Wrong See, toe. But whatever. that is. You know, they that usually happens. mark. The part of the they body that, that up all you're the time amputating. Too, though. Yeah. What was yeah. the first thing he fucked up? Was it the same? That's what, oh, let's see. That's what let's we want to know. We got to yeah. find all out right, now. Because nobody told him the first time. Just so you know, the spleen is on the other side. And then the second time, like, oh, did you send that email to Tom about the spleen? Yeah. The spleen's on the left. No, the other left. There you go. You Tom, go. that kills people. See, the spleen's here and the liver's here. So I don't, it, they're not even like next to each other, really. Other than being in a... Where's the pancreas? Pancreas. Whip that shirt off. No. Oh. Uh, Where is the pancreas? I feel like it's on top of something. Is it on top of the spleen? No. Is the spleen adjacent? No. I feel like the pancreas is spleen adjacent. There's another one that I'm forgetting about. There's something else floating around. Hey, how did trivia go last night? It went great. Tell me about it. Uh, it went really well, and I didn't mess up at all. Usually, I at least have one mess up. Did you feel like the slides were helpful? Uh, the delay was awful. It was not two seconds. It was like five to ten seconds. Why are you in a rush? Because the first round takes the longest because you get everything rolling, and then you have to get everyone's team names down and and then do the, the grading. Yeah. Uh, I can't do anything about the latency. And then when you move on, you want to go faster to catch up on time because I want to have everything done by nine o'clock. Which I always do. Right. But for me, it's always getting down to the wire. Down like, to the wire. But other than that, the, the uh, I projector thing water, works good. I want water, but I walk through the fire. If this is what it takes to take me even higher. You know that did, one? Did you find what else the guy did? You bought me that no, album for Christmas. What was it? Uh, nobody has been forthright about uh, reporting on What's that. What's his last I'm name? Sure. Snuff 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 Shaknovsky. Shack- Thomas Shaknovsky. Listen, bruh. The spleen is on the left. Clay, show him your spleen. It's right here. All right, Tom. Right the spleen is on the left. Fuck. Mm. Apparently, a gang is not running a Colorado apartment complex, and tenants are not paying its members rent money, police said, despite speculation from the public after images of men carrying weapons at the building went viral. That sounds like someone got paid off. The Edge at Lowry Apartments in Aurora, Colorado, has not been 
taken over by gang members. Interim Aurora Police Chief Heather Morris said in a video shared August 30th, we've been talking to the residents here and learning from them to find out what exactly is going on. And there's definitely a different picture. Turns I'm out not saying that there's not gang members that don't live in this community. It was Girl Scouts, not gang members. But people paying their rent to gang members is also not happening, according to Morris. Okay. <coughs> well, now what source can we trust? Um, are you telling me that people are eating animals in Ohio? Are they eating the dogs? The dogs and the cats? Here's the thing. I did see one video of people talking to a reporter about this phenomenon, but none of them were the direct victims or witnesses, I don't think. One guy said he saw a Haitian guy get pulled over in a white van full of cats, and he told the police he was going to eat them. Well, maybe he was just being sarcastic. What are you doing with all these cats? I'm going to fucking eat them, I'm going to fucking eat them, officer. I'm going to fucking eat them. Am that's I what being I'm detained? <laughs> what else would I do with all Wouldn't these cats? Wouldn't that be funny if the guy, if that's the energy the driver was giving, yeah. but then the, the Caucasian witness who, who, who appeared, I should find this yeah. clip, that he, um, yeah, he, sir, license and registration. Boy, that's a sure lot of cats in the back of your vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a crime? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Am I being detained? I'm hungry. Okay, that's what that's. I'm what gonna happens. fucking eat him, <laughs> officer. Because that's like the Paul Mooney joke when the police ask him where he's going. He says, "I'm going to your mama's house, bitch." <laughs> I'm driving till I run out of gas. What do you mean? Where uh, the fuck am I going? Um, I hate being pulled over, sir. What are you doing with all Who these cats? It? I'm gonna eat them. Am I being detained? God, that's what started it. So. Um, there's five unemployed people who were at home on their porch at 11 a.m. on a Tuesday to stand for this series of interviews I saw on TikTok, and they think there might have been Haitians eating cats, but they all kind of described the same character in the same white van. So if oh. they are eating the dogs and they're eating the cats, it was actually just one guy, and I think it was just cats. The dogs? Yeah. Um, I think it was just cats the cats and the dogs and i and they saw one lady kill a cat and they saw one guy get pulled over with some cats that's about it i mean anyone could kill a cat that cop killed a cat in the shield it right? happens all the time mm -hmm. i don't personally which i'm not for and we actually save cats here i don't personally caddy shack. shack save I a life cats. or nine Oh, today, uh, Biscuit, one of my one of my cats, used uh, his cat wheel for the first time. We got oh. a free cat wheel like six months ago, and it's just been sitting there. And yeah, these, like a these, hamster these, wheel type of yeah, like just a big big old cat wheel, cool. and it's like oh good because one of our cats is fat, so you know. Mm -hmm. we thought we'd try, and uh, no, nine of them liked it. And then recently, it's just kind of been like, are we going to get rid of it? And then of course today of all days, uh, he uh, he was walking on the wheel, and I wasn't there for it. And I got a video. It's okay. But I'm That's glad it's getting used. No, of course. That's what you want. They, I mean, they need to be stimulated. Well, it's my just cats, one of those things. It takes up, we don't have a big house. It takes up a lot of room. My cats have been teaching themselves to play all the instruments I leave laying around. They're so good. Those are good boys. Yeah. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and order dresses for their quinceanera. Oh, God. Is that coming up? <laughs> no, it's not till 2030. But... Oh. Well, shit. That's only six years away. But I could do, I could pay, I could do payments on the dresses how we how extravagant are we getting with these it's mostly the custom size that's going to be weird have you ever thought that we could get them those um those display mini tents that they have at stores that sell tents so they could get in tents when they're nervous you ever see the, the display tents there i don't think anything mini would service those animals but they have plenty of secret spaces right. to go Usually they to get them like a they, whole they have their own house. secret pathway to the cold storage up front and they hang out in there a lot which is why I don't keep anything in there except for paint. And mm -hmm. uh, you didn't know this, but when when you adopted them, I forgot to tell you they love paint. Hey, can we talk about how they've never been to the vet? They went to the vet when they were kittens. Okay, but I don't have any of that paperwork, and I don't know if they needed more stuff. Yeah, and they they got their shots. That's all I know. Okay, I don't know what to do because it's going to look like my fault if I take them for the to the vet for the first time. And how old are they? Eight, probably. I'm thinking. When did you Maybe. move to Kansas City? 2016. So, and how old were they? They're, then? I think they just turned nine. Oh, those bitches are getting old. I think they just turned nine mm. in March or May or something. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, we got to figure that out. I'll go with you. 
Okay, let's do that. We'll go to the vet together. We'll act like we... Because I have this nightmare sometimes that I find pets in my house that are alive and fine, uh, but I forgot about them. I had a horrible dream recently where I got bit by a venomous snake and no one cared. Everyone was like... Quit being a bitch about it. Well, I, that's how you know that's not real. Mm-hmm. I could have told you you were dreaming because I I, we've talked about it on this show that rattlesnake venom will make your heart very sick. And everyone was at a party. And it was like a weird party. And it felt like I was in New Orleans. Didn't you see The Missing with Tommy Lee Jones? Yes. Remember, he got bit by a rattlesnake, and that's why he couldn't eat rabbit for a year. Mm-hmm. Well, there's also some snakes that literally their venom causes your blood to coagulate rapidly. Like they took a blood sample and took some yeah. of the snake venom and dumped it into the petri dish, and it literally made a hockey puck of blood in seconds. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah. So, so what happened? You had a dream. You snakes. got bit by a snake. What do you think yeah. that means? I think I'm just stressed out. What do you think the snake is? Stress or failure? Who knows? Okay, what are we let's doing? Talk, let's talk about that because I don't. Huh? Let's talk about that part. Failure of, at what? not succeeding in life you know when you're getting older and you're like oh i've really done that much do you really feel unsuccessful sometimes i mean do you have a criminal record i got arrested when i was 19 but you have any felonies no no so that's good you know i mean people got felonies bro a lot too many especially around here Mm -hmm. especially around here did you um there's this guy i think his name is big homie cc and he's a retired um criminal security guy i think big homer cubic centimeter yeah Uh. and uh um he was talking about how chicago is like crazy right now because there was just this war happening in chicago for the last five or ten years but now like all the actual opposition is dead and so you have a lot of like really young dudes who don't understand like the climate and culture of of that aspect of life there oh because the ones that were supposed to mentor them so died. Pe- yeah well and also like so the, the institutional memory is all gone anybody that had any credibility at all like some younger guy shot him and got away with it mm-hmm. and so that just kept happening for years and so it's like a hollowed out version of what it used to be and it's a mess mm-hmm. because there's no institutional this memory. is like that 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 town that's being run by children because all the parents went away and it, it's just kind of like lord of the flies yeah so take that concept but it's gangs and then put it in the wire gangs of imagine the flies. yeah imagine there's a season of the wire where half the characters are just thanos i feel like we need to call scorsese he's too old i feel like we need to call Cor- scorsese's great great let's call lee daniels because we'll have the best wigs we do need some wigs on some young gang members. That's for we sure. We need just beautiful wigs. That's the thing is now I'm curious. What? Well, what does that mean? What does what mean? Is the boss 12? Is the boss of the gang 12 years old? You know they get them young. Well, I mean, a, a lot of these people are dead or in prison. And, uh, you know. Oh, dead or in prison. I thought you, I thought you said dead or they're in debtors prisons they no, no, owe like, money to carmax and no, so they're all locked I thought you up meant like they're debtor in prison like if they're if, when they're in prison they're more dead than when they're out of prison oh no and i know that's where my brain went well you, you can you, run gangs from prison you can it's been done yeah and you can gangs can do stuff in prison without even going in the yeah, prison they love it it's like i mean do you remember they, they have a goy on the outside they have the a goy they have ah, a goy on the outside we're full circle <laughs> Um, <laughs> who's you, being a rat? I got a goy for that. I got a goy for that. I got a goy for that. You got a rattlesnake problem? I got a goy for that. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, Rabbi, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Oh, shit. Well, that was fun. Guys, welcome to our first ever Patreon exclusive episode. A lot of targeted what? humor today. Joking. It's oh, a joke. okay. I was like, what? Oh, I was joking. Um, I'm doing this for the fame. You can't lock <laughs> me into the Patreon. I can't put you behind a paywall yeah. that you yourself pay for. I do. Um, did you see the investor. 36-year-old Sullen Casey divorces herself after one year of solo marriage, citing sustainability? This is the lady who last year in the UK <clears throat> petitioned to <laughs> get legally married to herself. I don't remember why. It was something about something. But now she's... Um, filing for legal divorce no. how do you complain about your spouse to your friends when legal you are divorce from herself or? yeah because i think something about sustain- like because sustainability she's realized she, well she can't economically support herself <laughs> um 
in this model my, because my also she can't. My spouse doesn't work enough. Yeah. You are your spouse. Yeah. Maybe you should work. I'm more. self-employed and I'm having trouble with my primary employee. <laughs> Uh, I think that's Maria Bamford. Who's coming to town? She's coming to the Sheldon. We should go to that. Who's Maria Bamford? She's that comedian. She was on Louie a couple times. Blonde. She's like... You would know her. She's very funny. Okay. And... Um, Jesus. Um, give me a sec. Give me a sec. So... But, so, here's can we, the Can thing you tell me about that? Is, do you think that... So, they legally married themselves. Yes. Saul and Casey. And now they have to go through the process of... of like divorce yeah legally on paper it's gonna say she was sure? married to herself and sure? then she got divorced are you sure they didn't just like give her a fake document that said congrats you're married that's the thing that would be funny if they said she's not really yeah. she doesn't really this doesn't mean anything i just, need to file for divorce oh sh- no just how tell long her. do we drag this out how long do we drag this out? yeah you just call the now retired clerk Christ, and you say I forgot about hey this so prank. what how did we file that marriage license for that lady that wanted to marry herself and she says oh we knew it was some bullshit, so we didn't want to. And so, so we gave uh, him a piece of paper. Just, just tell her you can annul it, and we'll I have just my delete secretary it. write on it with crayon and says you're married. Congrats, and has little balloons on it. Um, and that's in their files. Yeah, there she is. That looks like somebody that would marry themselves. I don't like their eye makeup. Anyway. Um, what would you do if you had to do some time in jail? Like, what? How would you adapt? Like, what are some what are some go tos for you? I would immediately get into a gang. Which one? I don't know yet. I could. I make. I would make a great goy. Yeah, you could be like the one, uh, like white guy in like an all Latin gang. That'd be good. I'd be all right with that. I get a bunch of dirty tattoos. Because I doubt that a lot of their tattooing systems are sanitized. Yeah. What about your workout regimen? Oh, I'd work out like crazy. The biggest thing that gets between me and fitness these days is being exhausted with my my job. So if you don't have the job that's exhausting and you get your yard time, I would work out every day. Yeah. And, you you know, you get the three hots and a cot, and and I'd probably read more. Is it three? I hear it's three hots and a cot. Maybe they're not all hot. I don't think lunch is hot in jail. Prison. We're talking about prison. We're talking about prison, prison. Lunch is definitely not hot in jail. Mm -hmm. Jail is hell. I'd probably spend time in the library. Doing what? Reading books. Just to... Just to well, you have to think about the limit. Decompress the, your limitations on media when you're in prison, probably. So, what do you have? You'd be surprised. They got TikTok and shit in jail. Yeah, I don't think they're supposed to have those phones. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to. I don't think that that be you walking up to your your new Latin comrades mm-hmm. and saying, "Oh, I don't think you guys are supposed to have those phones." Yeah. And then I get and then I get stabbed. Just for saying that to anybody, really. Uh, but you know, because that'd be be like, "Yeah, why are you gonna do something about it?" And then I get and then stabbed. I'm picturing you trying to use a prison phone because it's like a small phone. It's not like, yeah, like it's Nokia. not an iPhone 14, right? Like Nokia. So I'm picturing you and you're swole up because you're in jail. So you're fucking. Just can't even bend around to wipe your ass. You know what I'm saying? You probably so, still use T9 in prison. And so that, but that's the thing. You're trying to type on a tiny little phone. You remember T9? Absolutely. With your big old one thumb. Arms. I used to fuck with T9 driving. Easy. No, when didn't even have to look. Yeah, just. Oh, this. I could text in my pocket look, on my Nokia yeah, brick look, phone. Yeah. You just look at the road, and you're just you get your phone down here. You know you can't probably see me, but down by the gear shift, and you're just texting away. Yeah, yeah. it was easier. I very I, much, I enjoy the hell. What's well, faster now with the keyboards and everything? If if your hands are that size, I, with my fucking moose knuckles mm-hmm. over here, I can't fucking and, type well, while I'm also, driving for a shit. Talk to text has become a long way. I talk it's to text not a great lot. though. I say some goofy shit on talk to text. I my problem is that my phone mount in my car is right in front of my uh, one of my AC vents. That's why whenever I try to call you when I'm driving, you yeah, can't but you should move that. I should, but it plugs into it. it hooks on. Turn the vent off when you're using the phone. No, but it's hot sometimes. <laughs> you don't. Uh, Need all four uh, but, events on, but so then sometimes that interrupts my microphone when I'm trying to do talk to text, and I got, and then next thing you know, I'm just screaming words at my phone because I wanted to hear me. Uh, the longest talk to text text message I ever made was like 
it was it was not that long. Mm-hmm. It was a long one. Yeah, but there's sometimes some random shit in there. It'll put like proper nouns in place of so, you know what I mean that don't belong there. Mm-hmm. So like you're trying to tell somebody, um, oh maybe I'll come over later, and it says Midwest Bank Center. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm fr- like what? I'm friends with some film writers, and so I think I was pitching something but while driving back from hillsborough which means i was See, just talking but that's saying if i'm going to do talk to text i'm not going to take the time to revise and edit i wouldn't no i just sent it and i, and I sent another message being uh, saying that was all talk to text sorry if there's some problems and that's it yeah and then and then they they ran with it and put a bunch of good spins on it and uh, I, I hope that that becomes uh, another short I get to it's kind of like a mad lib though it's like you have to decode it it's like we have to figure out what he was trying to say yeah right you know what I mean what do you think he meant when it said banana hammock mm-hmm. when he said banana hammock do you I think he you. really meant banana hammock or, or think let's think about else. what would that sound like did it sound like bandanas amok uh huh bandanas among that's, us uh, bandanas ben, ben, there's, ban- there's a bandanas uh-huh. among us well, I might, Shitty I might, I might frozen been, barbecue. I might have been driving by a bandanas at the time. Um, God, that does sound good. I like their toast. You know what? You know who has toast? I get all Raisin of my Lion's Cane's? Choice uh, on Texas Raisin Toast. Raising Cane's Toast is. Mm-hmm. The Lion's Choice Texas Toast is the only way to enjoy uh, the choice. Um, I always oh. get at least one or two extra oh, toasts at Raisin Cane's. Or whatever they, or yeah. the, the remix is the same. But you can also get their chicken sandwich sub oh, yeah. Texas Toast. It's like 30 cents. Mm. There's a restaurant. They never complain uh, about having to do it. There's a restaurant out in Hillsboro that I've been to lunch to a few times that every single sandwich, including their burgers, is served on garlic cheese bread. <gasps> That's their standard mm. base level bread. That almost killed my wife that, one time. Where is that at? It's called Saucy. There's one Where? in Fenton, and then there's one out in Hillsborough. Oh, is that the place by Dad's? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Mm-hmm. But also, their burgers are like shaped like my phone. Like their burgers are like yeah, a they're rectangle, like the cafeteria like, style kind like of height. Like- uh, like they're flat, but they're long, and they're they got like they rectangular, got rounded four sides. You know, kind of. But, I didn't but know what you were gonna say. They're rectangular. My thing is, um, it's like who's doing this? My wife they're had good though. My wife had a. A sandwich at a, a restaurant that used to be there called the Bean House. Ah, and uh, she had the ham and cheese. They burnt down, didn't they? On the garlic bread, and she slept for fifteen hours afterwards. You know how much butter was in that? <laughs> we went there, hung over for lunch on a Sunday, and oh, she well, slept she until right hung- when we got home until the next morning. Wow. I fucked around and got the itis at uh, the Golden Hoosier last weekend. I've been there I went while. to the Golden Hoosier last weekend with Mother. I went on Saturday. You went on Sunday. Oh. I heard about this. What did you have? Uh, I got their new Melt Burger, and we got some chips, you know, the chips and uh, the onion dip. I always get the onion dip, and but then, I also tried the buffalo chicken and dip when we I was went there with to, Mother. It's and lovely. then we went to Clementine's by your house on the way home. So I got all that itis on, and then some ice yeah. cream on top of that itis. We, you can't get into that habit. Dad mm. always loved that. The, no, uh, but I mean, look at them. The yeah. ice cream after dinner thing. and it's Well, no, we don't do that every time. We just do that if it's convenient. It's just a lot. Never really. Well, we live right by a Dairy Queen. You'd be surprised how little we go to this Dairy Queen. You know what I do when I'm doing my weird um, form of, it's really not intentional. My ADHD diet experience lately, I'll get two of the remixes from Lion's Choice on the Texas Toast. Mm-hmm. Just as if I haven't eaten all day and it's four o'clock and That's I've just been smoking weed and drinking Diet Coke, I'll have two remixes because it's just four ounces. They're not king size. You know, you could get like three extra ounces for an upcharge and yeah, then I just have one I sandwich. like the ratio. I don't want to fill up on ounces. But then you get less bread, which is healthier, I guess. So. It's not less bread. It's the same amount of bread, more meat. No, because you're not getting the second sandwich. You're only getting oh, one no. sandwich. No, no, no. With extra I like meat. the ratio. You get one sandwich. I'm not with getting extra the fries. Meat, so you only get the two and we've talked about. I haven't eaten for almost 24 hours at this point. Yeah, you got to eat food. You want to get tacos after this? I really do need to eat something. I kind of need to go by Molly's though. Molly's moving. Where's Molly moving to? She's. I don't remember. Mm. Um, but I got a. I have some some stuff over there. So there's tacos over there too. There's a taco place there. There's tacos abroad. What fuzzies? Ugh. No, I don't like fuzzies because they they, they don't heat up their plates. Fuzzies just went downhill. If you have you ever had nachos served to you on a cold plate, brother, and not a refrigerated plate, but a room temperature plate, yikes! I don't know. I mean, I used to make just melted cheese on chips at home when I was younger. Cause... Yeah, but the surface of the plate is heated up. These people pour hot cheese on a cold not plate. If you do it in the oven and then you transfer the nachos to a cold plate. Don't do that, is what I'm saying. Have you never made a giant just pan of nachos? It's just not right. There's a reason the plates are hot at real Mexican restaurants. Well, when you do the giant pan of nachos, you also do like 
jalapenos and beef and shit. Yeah, but if I do it on like foil or something, I'll just eat it off the pan. You make a cheese sauce rather than just putting a bunch of shredded cheese on it. Yeah. Well, both. You You need a little bit of both. Yeah. But also, don't put the sour cream in before the cook. Obviously not. Did you do that? No. You did that. I've done it before. How many times have you passed out drunk and forgot you had a pizza in the oven? One time. Uh, It's a fun story. So I was living by myself... And I went over to my buddy's house, and he had a PlayStation Pass where you could play a bunch of old games. And we were drinking, <laughs> we were drinking uh, tequila and playing fighting games from previous generation consoles. And then we were both so drunk because we finished the bottle of tequila that uh, he fell asleep. And I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna go home and make a pizza, whatever." And I went home because it was like five blocks and made a pizza. And then I put on the SpongeBob movie, and then I fell asleep. And I woke up like four hours later. And my upstairs roommate was a friend of mine. She was like knocking on my front door. Uh, my girlfriend at the time was very upset. And my apartment was smoky as hell. And my thing is, I wasn't really upset about anything except for the fact that I opened the oven and there was just that little black puck that uh, was once man. like a Jack's pizza or whatever. Yeah. And I just grabbed it with the oven mitt, not even with like a thing or a tongs. I grabbed it with the oven mitt, opened my back door and flung it into the city alley and then I slammed the door and I, I went back and laid down again. <laughs> That was the most irritating thing about that whole experience. Was I That's really, what really wanted that pizza? But that happened one time. That's hard though, because to dive right into a, a freshly yeah. baked, fr- I mean, previously how many frozen times pizza, has, how many times you could someone, destroy your mouth? How many, so, how many times has someone come to pick you up and you're shirtless, standing on the side of Delmar, screaming at the sky, uh, blackout drunk? At least a couple times. Yeah, there's a song about that. For me, at least three times for him, well, doing it, picking you up. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there was that one time you found me on the floor of the salon. You thought I was dead. I did, <laughs> because I couldn't get in. He's like, I'll let you in when you get here. And I could see through the little window, and I could just see his feet. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, like, sticking out from behind the wall. And I was, like, knocking on the door. I was like, he's dead! And, uh, and you were just, you laid down because you were so drunk. And I had poured water all over myself. You thought I was vomiting blood. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. What? Water. Why would water make it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You were hysterical. I might have been drunk too. Who knows? And that's the thing. You were just better at being awake. Mm-hmm. Um, how long are we at? I have no idea. Um, probably we're at sixty-eight minutes, but we were rolling for a while, mm-hmm. so probably oh, it's just, just uh, under sixty. So uh, let's talk. Let's just reflect on um, a couple things to point people in the right direction. Um, here. Uh, so. The clips have been crazy. We, we There's two clip algorithms at work right now with the last episode of the show. So we made like 75 clips of the But last why episode. is the one about me not buying pre-cut ribeyes from Costco, why does it have 17.3 thousand views last I looked? Here's the thing that I've noticed from the clips that people like. The clips that do really well include um, like corporate name brands. So I'm upset that the dollar fifty hot dog aftercare one only has like three hundred views. It's like that's way funnier. that's maybe just that one platform. That one did pretty good on something. Instagram. Because we make clips and we put them on um, Instagram reels, uh, Facebook, uh, X, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and uh, it's funny because the ones that really blow up, it's Toyota, Costco um mm, buzzwords mcdonald's those ones always a mcdonald's story has always been buzzworthy the clip for this moment right now is going to be great because you just said a bunch of big things yeah mm-hmm. home depot mm. um boeing zatarans zatarans <laughs> this is what i was talking about zatarans olive garden got me fucked up because the the joke in my head was i was standing at my kitchen sink and i looked at there's this little bottle i should have brought it with me um it's like the size of this Right there's this little bottle, and it says Zatarans Shrimp and Crab Boil, but it's this size, yeah. and obviously, but it's really potent. Obviously, it's a concentrated additive that you add to your water or your Sunny D or whatever people no, boil their shrimp. No, in. what? Oh, okay. I think you said you just add it to a drink. No, no, no. You add that it to your you add you it to add your, it to your boil drink. liquid. You add it to your boiling stock pot of liquid mm-hmm. and. Uh, but I thought it would be funny if the take was I looked at that little bottle of shrimp and crab boil and I said, how am I supposed to boil a whole crab in this? Like it was just by itself because it's not enough liquid to boil a crab. And that's when I came up with the line Zatarans got me fucked up. 
because they're telling me I'm going to boil a shrimp in this little bottle of liquid. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of but Jacob that's, B. Weekly. No, but that's what we uh, got to do, is we got to find people that we're going to target brand-wise. Oh, so you want to say Lion's Choice, Lion's Choice, Lion's Choice, no, Lion's no, Choice, no. Lion's Choice. I don't think they're big enough. What? They're, they're big. No, they're regional. I got a buddy that works for their corporate office. How come he didn't, he hasn't, what, how come we haven't talked to him about this? Uh, you can have him on your podcast if you want. I just, I just need them to sponsor the show it's the it's the you want to be sponsored by zatarans no by lion's choice this is like when the dana carvey show was going out and they kept changing their sponsor every week so it was like diet mug root beer dana carvey show and then next week it was like a chinese restaurant that they ordered their takeout from. they sell the naming rights every week every every yeah they just had to get new sponsors yeah and they couldn't hold on to one um that's what you got to do maybe we should do that um so if you want to sponsor an episode of the show we'll name it after you there you go. How much would that cost? Us or them? How much? No, I mean it wouldn't cost us anything to put their name on the episode of the show. You're saying you want to you want them to pay you for advertisement, basically? Right. Oh, How much okay. should we charge them? Two hundred dollars. I love that. Boom. If you give me two hundred dollars, the yeah. next episode of the show is named after whatever you want me to name it after. Yeah. Yeah. This week's episode is uh, brought to you by Shady Ray's sunglasses. No, that's big budget. We this have- week's episode is brought to you by Lee's Recipe Chicken. That's too big. This week's episode is brought to you by that bodega down the street. That's the thing. That's more like it. This there week's episode go. is brought to you by Good Time Smoke Shop on Chippewa. Yeah, this week's episode is brought to you by Magic Market. But th- we need to get it bigger so that the sponsors are the level of the people that make the clips viral. This week's episode is brought to you by Wally's Truck Stop. If we could do... If, next, if episode 104 was... It's Toyota Truck Month. Give me one. <laughs> That's good. Give me one. Come on. No. What? Oh, you're talking about... Yeah. It looks like you're looking past me, honestly. <laughs> yeah. No, not you. The guy in the corner. Oh, fuck. Please. <laughs> Is the brand in the room with me? Yeah. 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 Um, shit, what were we talking about? Like who well, we should sell the naming rights of the next few episodes to. Yeah. yeah. So if we did an episode that was all about Toyota Truck Month, mm-hmm. that could be good. <laughs> but you're talking that about big good. budget. Toyota Truck Month is huge. I would uh, love the that. McRib. Uh, this week's uh, just yeah. the McRib. Just the McRib. It's back. Yes. Yeah. The McRib. It's back. Ladies and gentlemen, the McRib Here's is the back. Thing. You know why they take it away? Because nobody would eat it if you could remind yourself throughout the year that it's not good. That's exactly how it is. Because it just has that processed porky flavor that's just not mm-hmm. even what Wait, pork tastes is, like anymore. It, it looks like it has the bones in it, right? But there yeah. are no bones. No, in it. it's ground that's, pork. That kills me that they and they have shape to make it, it into like a riblet. That. Yeah. So it looks like riblet. Yeah, a riblet. That's my thing. Applebee's, though, is, another great one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Poor Applebee's. This week's episode brought to you by the Chili's Triple Dipper. Yeah. Anytime <laughs> I go into an Applebee's, uh, they can't seat you for like 30 minutes because there's plenty of tables but there's no servers yep. so there's mm. like one server and so they're only using one section of the restaurant that, uh, one mm. of the few remaining Applebee's the one over on Watson actually uh, we were there back in like February and they had this genius idea to promote bringing a date to Applebee's on Valentine's Day by shutting down a whole section and staging dummies dressed up like they're on dates with like the the sign on the table being like this could be you and it's like so a stupid. and it's like an old couple like <laughs> it's a taxidermied family yeah, yeah. <laughs> gawking at each other that's what it is <laughs> yeah enjoy your 2 for 25 or whatever the fuck the deal is you know and that's that's it so if you want to uh, cut back on servers because you don't have enough, you just need to eliminate your sections and make those sections that are eliminated advertisement space for coming events huh do you need to pee no, why? Do I'm going to pee. Go pee. Can you talk to me Go about... Go piss, girl. What, how are you going to bring Applebee's back? Well, I think we got to start with the numbers. You got to have more Applebee's. <laughs> it should be quicker. It should be like quick serve. Like build your own two for 20. You just have like chafing dishes full of the Southwest egg rolls and shit. Or what are they? No, that's chilies. See, yeah. I'm off my game. Go, go, ahead. I'm sorry. go piss, girl. Anyway, so piss, here's girl. the thing is that with Applebee's, their biggest problem was getting rid of so many of their franchises. Uh, but, like, you could have more Applebee's in your life today if you go support your local Applebee's and ask them about expanding. Because there's so much stuff left over from when COVID took out so many businesses. Why not put an Applebee's there? 
Why not? Why not? Yeah. And then they really should just, uh, you know, maybe prolong the the uh, unlimited boneless wing thing. Because the last time I went to an Applebee's, they were doing that. Mm -hmm. And we were really, uh, I guess it was the second to last time. I've been to Applebee's too much in the last five years. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like last summer. It was like yeah. post uh lake weekend in osage and it was just like oh god there's an applebee's we should do this because we already feel like total garbage mm -hmm. and we went and got like just big old diet sodas and unlimited boneless wings and there's only like four sauces sauces you could do with the unlimited there's like 10 sauces but there's like four three or four you can do with the unlimited so we just kept like alternating like i want the hot this time but then come back in 10 minutes with some parma uh, parma uh, parmesan garlics and then and then then bring me the barbecues 15 minutes after that and that's that's how we did it until we were all so disgusted with ourselves that we had to motivate like ourselves to leave mm -hmm. yeah we did the wolf of wall street martini thing but with uh, unlimited boneless wings and an applebee's and osage yeah, that's always a pain in the ass. If something's all you can eat, it needs to be buffet style. Because I don't, if I, because you're gatekeeping me. Do you think you're cool because you don't wear a big set of headphones? No, I just had these in my backpack. Yeah, whatever. Mm. These are great. These are the Mackie dynamic driver in ear monitors that um, they sound better for electric guitar than oh. the Shure ones I have. I have the really nice Shure ones mm -hmm. um, that have great low end response. What the electric guitar sounds a little. How do they handle getting wet? I don't know. I don't get them wet. Really? You're a sweaty dude. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, if I'm if I start getting real sweaty, I probably don't need these. That's not true. about your shows? Shows get hot. There's I don't necessarily the need these both in the whole time. There's all I'm the, at a show. the lights there, and the people yeah, but they're the sweat heat resistant and the vibes. Um, Did you pop your shirt off last Friday? Someone said, someone said you popped off your shirt last Friday at the No Antics show. Well, by the end of the encore, it was completely unbuttoned. Mm -hmm. And so I took it off just to put another one on, a, a dry shirt on. I had Joe run in the merch booth and get me a... Uh, that's on the Patreon.com slash Jacob The v. No Antics show from last Friday. I'm probably. working on um, okay. the final version for us to put out somewhere or put pieces out of somewhere. But I put a, a first draft up. So if you weren't at the big No Antics show last week... Mm -hmm. You could see that on patreon.com. You might have been somewhere else, like my wedding shower. I did both. You, you Irish goodbye My mother was upset. I did not Irish goodbye. You Irish goodbye. I did not Irish goodbye at your shower. I, I hugged mother de deeply. You guys were all hammered drunk. We were drunk. We're on the podcast right now. Hi, Mom. Oh, I won't keep you. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just kind of at home. We just got our pedicures. Oh, praise God. Hey, listen, remember when your son Irish goodbye at my wedding shower last week? I hugged you with my backpack on and said, okay, I got to go. You both? Never mind. Okay. Am I on the podcast? You are. Well, we're on the podcast. I was just about to say, you both looked Asian because of a certain reason. Yeah. Because you both have the same okay. hair. Because we were jerking off. Well. That's, that's racist. I'm not that kind of goy. All right. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Patreon. Bye, Mom. Love you. And uh, that's actually why Mom's never been on the podcast. You never really know what she's going to say. You, I, and she's a loose Sometimes cannon. you have an idea what she might say, and you don't want her to say it. Sometimes she doesn't even know what she's going to say. That's, oh, she, she never knows. And then she says it wrong, and then she makes fun of herself for saying it wrong by saying it worse. And I can't provide examples. <laughs> the doubling down. Yeah. I mean, the doubling down is yeah. hard to watch. She's like, well, I'm already over the edge. I might as well yeah. jump. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to double down. She's like that. She's yeah. definitely like that. She's like, uh, mm -hmm. she's kind of like. She loves saying the word clitoris very loud. Oh. Oh, that's fun. She loves it. She but like in inappropriate fun. times. Yeah. 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 And she thinks it's funny. Mm -hmm. Like, she, a, like yeah, a seventh grade boy say, might think it's funny. She'll say, I'm yeah. too legit to clit. And then she's oh, like, yeah. and then it's like, well. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Guys, thanks for coming to Easter. I guess we'll have our check. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, that we'll at our moment, Easter yeah. brunch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yikes. It's true. I wonder why she didn't have a better time in Catholic school. Mm -hmm. This week's episode brought to you by Too Legit to Clit. It's a rejuvenation service. They're in South County. It's probably, she's probably doing that. Mm -hmm. It's a side hustle. Um, she got mad because that clip blew up of us talking about her her regimen of uh, alternating Botox and eyebrow threading. I thought that was hilarious. I thought it was great. I thought she was mad because we doxed her for stealing from Walmart. I don't think she's ever knowingly stolen from Walmart. Yes, she has. She did it for a good while. Plants, mostly. Yeah, that's the thing. She's, she's 
but she was like she was like i just keep this thing in my cart and i scan the other stuff and then i go (sighs) you know and until they have over 250 dollars on you yeah, and then it's grand. Then yeah, that's yeah. the other thing that that's why I told Walmart, you. Need, I told Walmart, you stop. Walmart, they're making a portfolio. Yeah, didn't she watch the pod where you explained that Walmart is tracking her? I think she. Yeah, she. I think she told me that was bullshit. She said I saw that clip. It was bullshit. And it's like, bullshit okay. because I'm up to like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, they ain't got me yet. Have you seen all my plants? Have you seen all these begonias? Mm-hmm. I didn't pay for one. Yeah, that shrimp tree. She probably stole that shrimp tree from Walmart. She paid for your entire shower out of out of her plant budget because she saves so much. Mm-hmm. Well, she flips plants. She flips them. She steals them and then sells them. She steals them. She brings them home. She grows. She builds them up. She nurtures them to strength, and then she finds homes for them, mm-hmm. which is brilliant. Mm-hmm. I, what are we going to do with all the pottery when she goes? When she ascends this plane and goes to glory, I figure we just find a big hole and throw it in there. I feel like we got to like. We got to dump it on somebody, but like in a donation format. Because I would love for it to be on display somewhere. We have to get rid of it without Danielle being involved because she'll take all of it. You well, can bury it for the next <coughs> civilization in a thousand years. It's or so beautiful stuff. Find. If there was like a university of po- uh, I almost what? said poverty. If yes, there was a university this, of pottery or something. We found this ancient relic. Uh, apparently, Gringo Jones was a big thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is from the. the uh, the Gringo Jones Empire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the oh. Magnolia set. Yeah, this is from... Magnolia Homes. This one still has a sticker on it. Um, $75? Anyway. Does that plant Does that plant say cyborgs on it? <laughs> <laughs> Where did she get that? I would love to have the cyborgs on the show. You know, we went to school with them. Did we? When we were in Afton for a couple of years. Oh, uh, well, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was in Miss Newcomer's first grade class with two years. one of the cyborg girls. There's a lot daughter. of cyborgs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, and then she worked at that's, the Grabway location. That's for like a while. how we went to high school with a sun truck. It's like okay, yeah, okay. That's a more common name than that. She's actually related to the restaurant people, whereas that that other example is not necessarily quite as direct. But mm. the because um, that sauce is good, the Cyberg's wing sauce. Yeah, it is good. Uh, it's it's like a mustard base. But my here's my thing is I like a wing. <laughs> that is sauced, but it's not like really caked on. And when cybergs toss their wings, it's like they take a whole one of these and dump it in the bowl. Because those wings come out, and you got to go through like they're slippery a sixteenth of an inch of sauce to even touch the bone. It's sloppy. Yeah, it's more of a viscous sauce. Mm-hmm. It's really on there. It's thick. Have you seen the guy, the fat guy, talking about his four plate? The guy thinks he's asking him about. The guy's asking him about four play, and he's talking about. A four plate. He starts saying, "See, I'm thinking lasagna, lamb chops, <laughs> baked mac and cheese. I could see it now. <laughs> Chicken wings." <laughs> and, he's like, and he's like, "You're talking about four plate, right? Four? He's talking about four different plates, or one of those plates that has four sections? I think he's talking about a plate that has four, four sections and what he it. would fill it up with at the cookout. What I would always do is I would do uh, meats over two of the pockets, and then uh, the, the then there'd be that one yeah, big sure. pocket." That you would use, to, I would, no, I would stack two things, like rice and, and beans together, and I mix them. Some people are upset with mixing foods together on the plate, but it's like, it's going to be like no, that inside of you. I kind of, at a at an open buffet cookout function like that, I'm optimizing all of that real estate. Well, be so honest. I'm not doing meat um, just on the plate. When's meat is always over something. When's the last time you went to a buffet? No, I'm saying buffet style at like a family cookout. No, I understand, but when's the last time you went to a buffet? But didn't I go to... Didn't you pick me up from the buffet? I locked my keys in my car. Oh, Joy, Joy Luck. Luck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot that was a buffet. I keep thinking it's just a, a, a Chinese restaurant. Uh, but it's we used to go to Chinese buffets or any buffets with our family, and we would always come back to the table first thing with two plates. There was never the one, and then you no, yeah. always came back with two plates to start. Yeah. Uh, and for then me, you, it was always a hot plate and, and a cold plate. go down. Yeah, right. You could do that. Or it's just like, I need all my entrees on this and all my sides on yeah. this. And then, then you do that. Uh, but I remember just always starting with two plates. But if you're at a cookout or or a, a, a group event where you know you're invited to someone's home or backyard or a park or something, and the line is long, you, that and thing, you should everyone's eating you at the same two time. Two it because you seem selfish. No, so what you are you make like a giant set marginalized um, chinette plate? You know, mm-hmm. like the disposable heavy duty mm-hmm. thing, like you do for Thanksgiving, um, and you do KFC famous bowl style where all of your sides are the foundation for your proteins 
You got to dig through your proteins to get to your stuff. Well, you're, I'm probably going to eat the ham or the turkey or the whatever first. And then when I'm done, any flavors left behind are just going to add to maybe I have the Waldorf salad or the party potatoes, the funeral potatoes with the cornflakes on them or I'm mashed bring, potatoes. bringing a Waldorf salad? I love a Waldorf salad. I'll make you one. I worked at a place that had a really good Waldorf salad. Um, the texture, usually people want to use like hard green apples, but I, I like a pink lady apple, which is the traditional apple of American apple pie, is the pink lady. I'm big on Fuji's. Um, That's where I'm at. I which one's know. the Fuji? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sweet apple. But what color is it? It's red, but no. sometimes there's some yellow tones. No, I don't like those. Love me. Those are too basic. Not those like waxy, shitty red ones. No. I'm talking about. I like the fat. big yellow ones, though, if you can get them. Like golden delicious. We should just go eat apples after this. Yeah, what are we doing? You want to go drink a 40 ounce and eat an apple with me? Mm. This week's episode brought to you by Eckert's. Eckert's. Home of the overpriced pumpkins and apples. That's the thing. Our grandfather s- swore them off uh, near the end. Uh, we got three pumpkins from them last year, and I think it was $75 for three fucking but that i had to carry pumpkins that's the thing too i don't understand this this economy of let's pay somebody else so we can go pick our own food like remember when we went to florida with dad and we we did the strawberry picking no i blocked that out that, I, I probably was getting bullied a lot oh my god it was awful i was not having a good time that guy's dead now that we're on that vacation with Ooh. That, that guy that was the neighbor remember when we went with that family oh yeah yeah, Justin's dad. Mm-hmm. And we went and uh, we did strawberry picking. I'm like, why are we stopping to pay? Was that in Destin? Yeah. Was that when we drove 12 hours? Yeah. And we and, and Mark. I'm and so fucking pissed. Our father ran a, a power cord through the back of his truck window, and we were in the the camper shell in the bed of the in truck. An air mattress. On an air mattress, and we were playing PlayStation 2 on a 12 hour drive to Florida in the back of a truck, not even not seat I don't belted. I remember that. I remember it. I remember you sleeping and me playing uh, Freedom Fighters and being like, "This is weird." Which one was Freedom Fighters? It was a it was a game. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, I can't believe the poverty mentality of oh, well, we're going to go on a beautiful family vacation and we're going to drive all the way there. We drive twelve hours. That fucking Midwestern thing to, to, of oh, what? Why would we fly? We could just drive. It'll take ten times as long. Right. It'll cost maybe three quarters as much. Did you know we were planning on going to <laughs> Ireland? Did you know to drive from Dublin to uh, the Isles of Moher on the opposite side of the island is three hours? No, that's what I'm saying. Cliffs of Moher. Sorry. Like once I flew to Europe, we were able to take a bus all over Germany and Austria and Switzerland and Liechtenstein because they're not that big. But going all the way from here to Florida takes forever. 12 hours. I can't believe. Sometimes longer, depending on where you're going, because it's a peninsula. And I didn't fly, even as an adult, for like 15 years. Flying Because weird. of that mentality that, oh, it's not worth it. I'm not worthy. It's too expensive. I might as well just did drive I, nine hours. Did I tell you about the last time I went to Florida? It was just a few months ago. And uh, we, we went to that airport in Belleville area over in Illinois. And it's the best flying experience i've ever had out of st louis because it's so small and there's no one there and there was a bar and there was stuff to do and hang out and then and then the flight happened and it was just there was just so seamless and tsa wasn't a huge mess i loved it i want to fly everywhere out of that airport now because lambert is a shit show it's not even that big of an airport why is it such a shit show did i tell you about when i had a seven hour delay in toronto layover sorry toronto canada Yes. On your way back from Vienna? Yes, we were exhausted. And we had to hang out in, the, in, in Toronto for seven hours. And we had a small layover, like three hours, the first on, on the way out. And we were like, oh, we just like went and kicked it and like looked at some stuff. And then we were like, okay, we got to get back to the airport. But uh, being, we were exhausted. We didn't want to leave. So we just kind of hung out for seven hours in the Toronto airport, which is big. But... Uh, yikes you know it was just it was a lot you know when you see those pictures of people laying on the airport uh, floor just like on the tile like using their backpack as a pillow and just looking at their phone that shit's real i don't have the constitution for that because i can't really sleep without my machine so to, oh, for me to just nod off in an airport you, are you full sleep apneaing 
just all that's over what we talked work. about on the last episode i was just finishing it on the way in here that um and then your gate changes like i kind of black out on a plane and i'm like i'm just gonna shut down entirely but that means i'm like <laughs> like next to this poor elderly couple who are nice enough to share their row with me yes when we were flying the nine hour flight from toronto to uh to vienna uh a guy, I couldn't sleep. I slept for like the first 45 minutes and I woke up and I couldn't sleep the rest of the time. And uh, I didn't have headphones to plug into the thing so I couldn't watch movies that way. It was really horrible. You could ask for some. Four hours into the flight, middle of the night, this man stands up six rows ahead of me and he took off his shirt at one point and it's just wearing like this wife beater that's not, you know. The, it's not enough. It's not. It's it's just, it's it's like, it's this way. It didn't matter. He stood up and he turned around and his eyes are closed and he just goes, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and his wife is like hitting him and i'm and and he like and he just goes whoa and he sits back down <laughs> and it's like the plane is dark and quiet you can hear people snoring a Does little he have bit a night terror he, i think he had a night terror or a nightmare and he just literally <laughs> stood up with like a titty out and was just Ah! <laughs> and, he, and then he just sits back down. <laughs> that was it. I was like, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that, that, that? He, he's no, no one came and said anything. <laughs> he just sat down, <laughs> and it just went back to normal. And it was just like, fucking what? Like we were above the ocean, and this man started just screaming. That's that's what they said. They said, listen. He sat back down. There's nothing we're going to do. Right. What do you want me to shoot him? I don't know. If it he does it again, we'll do something. Ron, Ron. But that's. <laughs> sir, Ron, wake up, honey. Ron. I, I'm picturing you looking out over the window. It was just me just being like, it was just because the seats. And I saw him. And I, and he starts, <laughs> and I, I think I just went. Because <laughs> you're accidentally raw dogging the flight because you're so ill prepared to be yeah. an adult. You ever raw dog a flight? Holy no. shit. And then um, I don't think we had headphones when I flew to Europe. Well, no. What we I do, have. what I do now is, is I down, I download. I have Vudu or whatever, and I, I download movies that I own digital copies of, and then I have them for when I don't have service. And I've watched Hot Rod like five times because of this, because uh, it's one of the only ones I've done. And Deep Blue Sea, I watched Deep Blue Sea mm. while flying back from Florida uh, with airplane mode on. It was delightful, but except for when you're watching Deep Blue Sea and you look out and you just see ocean, and you're like. <laughs> You know. I when I flew to Atlanta, I almost stopped at the vending machine in the Chicago airport for my connecting. Where um, I almost spent three hundred dollars on AirPods out of a vending machine because mm. I didn't have them, and that would have been devastating. Well, I always have these goddamn um, got nice the, ass motherfucking in ear monitors, got, but I don't have damn. the thing, the dongle for the iPhone, and it's just I can't. I'm just I just suffer. Well, some 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 flights include uh, disposable headphones or they just give you like a cheap shitty pair of headphones that can plug into the aux thing on the back of the other person's chair yeah. and that's nice but then of course those probably just get thrown away so that's kind of wasteful you know obviously but i i'm definitely used those uh that's how i watched the uh, zombie land 2 which was horrible on the way back from Vienna to Toronto, that's we why watched, that movie exists. We did not sleep for the eight and a half hour flight, and it was we watched four movies back to back and didn't sleep the whole time. Mm -hmm. Just couldn't sleep. This is what it was. I don't know. Yeah, you should journal in those times. I guess I didn't have a journal because I was too busy uh, taking care of all the little things Danielle wanted to bring back from Europe. She bought. A record from a concert for a band uh, that we saw. You had to fly back with a vinyl record? I, I had to carry a vinyl record through two countries after she got it, and then every airport and every bus station and, and, then, and then on every fucking flight... And I just would carry it with the handle to my rolling suitcase so that it would lay flat against the bars and not get dinged on anything. We have it. I did it. But she didn't think for a second about how we were going to get that vinyl back to Why the Why wouldn't you put States. it in the suitcase? It, the suitcase was too small. We only did carry-on size uh, suitcases because we didn't want to have check bags to save on uh, money and also worrying about losing all of our shit. That's what I'm saying. This and poverty mentality? Every, no, every single Airbnb that we uh, had in Europe, uh, almost every single one of them, had a, washer and, had a washer, but a lot of them don't have dryers there. So when we were in uh, Venice, Italy, we did laundry, and uh, I had to hang them on a clothesline out over a canal. And I was like, if I lose these jeans, 
what am I going to do? It's my only pair of you know, jeans. You know what you'll do? Oh, you know what? I was just about to say, you'll buy more jeans. However, somebody of your caliber right. physically yeah. in Italy. I would have to buy my waist size, but then way shorter. There's no DXL like, in be, Italy. They'd be man pre's. And, uh, that's, Dude, yeah. th- if you could find something that would wrap around your waist, yeah, there's no way something's going to be long enough. Mm-hmm. I, I just gotta, I gotta You'd have to go body. into a, like a fucking, where was this? Uh, that was Venice, Italy. Where, You'd have uh, to go into a Venetian tailor and have something hand drawn up for yourself. Mm-hmm. But they could probably do that day of. Very hardworking. Yeah, because they can take just the whole swatch they get from the textile plant mm-hmm. in, in Istanbul, mm-hmm. and they could just wrap it around each of your fucking tree trunk legs. You just legs. wanted to say swatch. Can you stand up and show the audience these little shorts you got on? No. You were such a dirtbag. Quit, quit telling me to do stuff with my clothes. Take that shirt off and show everyone your shorts. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, let's see those nips. <laughs> yeah. Let me see those furry nips, I'm bro. Pop off my top and blast my nips. He's got a goatee on his breasts. <laughs> That's not, that's not true. Guys, thank you for coming back oh. to Jacob V Weekly. I didn't know when we were going to call it. I, you know, I just like to feel it. I like to really squeeze all the toothpaste out of the tube. You know what I'm saying, girl? girl. You got to roll the end, and then it makes uh, more pressure in the tube. Well, you tell my wife that. You tell her to roll the end, because mm-hmm. she won't. I will, I will not. Is what I'm saying. I will not do that. Uh, Patreon.com slash Jacob V. Tons of... It's better every time I work on something. We're, we're constantly learning how to do video stuff and how to improve it. And tons of great video content on the Patreon now. Uh, and you have access to all of it as soon as you subscribe. You can go back and you have over 300 posts now of the last couple of years on the Patreon. So if there's more stuff you want, that's where to get it. You can get this show on any platform. Um, YouTube. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. I'm back on Spotify. Podbean. Podbean is my aggregator. You could go directly there. I don't necessarily see any money or anything that way. I just like the the downloads. Mm-hmm. If you could get downloads of the show, feel free to spread it around your different apps. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, you could follow us on Instagram. Spread down those loads. At Jacob V Weekly. You could follow us on YouTube at Jacob V STL. We finally got enough subscribers where I could change the name. It used to just be my last name. We're moving on up in the world. I love that for you. Even even today, we're actually, both of our cameras are in the same resolution. Last time you were here, you were in 1080, and I was in 4K, and that's why you looked like a tomato. I thought it looked great. I thought you looked great, but you were a little red. Mm-hmm. My hairline is upsetting me. Is that why you have the hat on today? Oh, no. You kind of looked like Agent Smith last week. I worked I, I worked all day, and then I got home, and I haven't showered, and I changed You got to wash that ass. I will, but I'm going to go to the gym after this, so I'm going to get sweaty again, so I figure why not. You're going to work anyway. physical labor all day, and then you're going to go to the the gym? Yes, the gym. Mm-hmm. Um, at Malachi Envy on X. Ooh, give me a sketch. Um, mm. We are also on twitch.tv. Are Jacob you on Twitch? STL. Yeah, we're we're going to start doing some streaming stuff now, now that I've been getting the basement together with the home studio again because I got rid of some furniture and that pool table and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So I want to shoot some stuff there. And mm-hmm. we could. I've done some Patreon exclusive stuff there with Alfred. We did a little after show there when he was on the show for episode 100. We went back to the crib and talked shit about uh, cringe stuff on YouTube. Is something wrong with my hat? No, no, no. I just noticed that you were wearing a hat. You I didn't like wear a hat. hat. I like the hat a lot. I think, what's it say? Peter Jackson's Dead Alive. Have you seen that movie? No. It's a it's an OG splatter horror. It's the guy that uses the lawnmower and kills a bunch of zombies. Have you not seen I have it? not seen that. What's that on? Oh, um, I'll have to look it up. Why do you have a hat that says that? Because I really enjoyed it, and I saw the hat for sale online, and I bought it. Oh, that's, they got your number with that one. Uh-huh. I really... I, they, they also have an Evil Dead 2 one that's uh, by uh, Realtree. It's camo. And I'm like, oh, it's a camo Evil Dead 2 hat. I kind of want it. Oh, I want one. Yeah, I'll show you it. I don't think I can wear hats. I was in a hat phase when I first started dating my wife. I was wearing a fedora because I had custom ordered one that would be the right size. I might just buy it. I was wearing a felt fedora and a a black motorcycle jacket. Oh, was it that one that's too short for the body because it's not supposed to be full length? Right. It's a, yeah. Remember when you had that marching band jacket that you wear sometimes? I was never really small enough for that. Well. It's a cute jacket, though. It was a cute jacket. I should put that on Tina. That's in a suitcase. It's in some of my vintage luggage. Why the fuck? I can't buy anything on Vudu for my phone, and I don't know why. That's weird. I think we're going to have an adult, um, adult film uh couple on the show oh 
is something we're talking about doing. Uh, we have singer songwriters and and local bands that are there's coming like a, on the show. There's like a couple that have an OnlyFans or something. Um, there's and there's uh, two adult film um, actors who are also a married couple that uh, have uh, greenlit coming on the show. So that's and they did it. Yeah, uh, interesting. They did a podcast already that'll kind of serve as a primer for kind of their story and stuff because I don't necessarily yes. like getting into the really gross stuff. Sometimes you need a base. You know what I mean? But I would love to talk about like the economics of the either the branding of the whole thing and, and uh, culturally and whatnot, how that's developed and what that looks like these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, so look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. I was I, not expecting I that. really want to make a, 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 sh- a horror film. A horror film. Yes. I got a guy. That's what I'm saying. I think we should collaborate with him. I think we should do yeah. something. Folks, also, if you haven't watched the short that I was in, written and directed by Braden Fogel, uh, it's called The Last Thanksgiving. It is linked on our Patreon, we, but it is not Patreon exclusive. You can see it on YouTube, and you we've should. We've entered to be in multiple festivals. So far, we've been in Hysteria Fest, which was at the Arcadin on uh, Gravoy. And uh, I, I recommend it. I don't know. I, I was in it. I had fun. I think I think your, your performance was a highlight of the thing for me. I thought it was uh, very compelling, and especially considering it's the first time you've ever really done something quite like that. I've never acted before like that. No. Yeah. We, th- but, but the same guy did, uh, we entered a, a short film contest for a uh, brewery out in Connecticut, randomly, and uh, we did a 90 second short, and that was the first time I'd ever acted. And it was, uh, it didn't have a script, it was just like a storyboard thing, but we got first place in that. So we're kind of one for one right now. We're doing pretty, or two for two right now. We're doing pretty good. <coughs> two and zero. Oh. Two and zero. Oh. Sure. Um, I'm just really enjoying our times. Yeah. And so. Uh, <laughs> that's the last thing that. <laughs> that's the last thing a friend of mine told me before he died. We should probably end the podcast. He said. <laughs> Probably. And I said, all right, baby. Probably. I said, all right, baby. All right. Jacob V. Weekly, Patreon.com. Doorstop-studio.square.site. Good company, STL in the Grove. Caddyshack, IL.org. Canned Productions. No. Is that the thing? That's, that's his, that's his uh, self-titled. Perfect. I love it. Praise God. We'll see you next week. Bye.